In this tutorial, we want to create a stopwatch which have a, a start and reset button. When you click on start, it starts counting from zero and when you click on stop, it starts at that second and it works again. Also, there is another button which is reset. When you click on reset, counter reset to zero and when you start, it works again. Uh, we do not want to start programming this from scratch <clears throat> because in previous tutorials, we created a stopwatch like this. There is no event handler or click handler and when the page load it start from zero and start counting so we want to convert this sample to this sample so what we want to learn is handling click event in react let's fork this sample and start changing it to this one first of all <clears throat> we need a state beside the running time which is is running and it is false because uh, we don't like to start running when page load and we need to remove the set interval method from component did mount and move it to handle start click But here, first of all, it's uh, this method is also for start and stop. First of all, we need to check if this dot state is running. Here, we need to stop running, and else we put the timer part here so what we do in is running part is clear interval which have been created in the else part now it's time to create a button unclick this dot handle start stop click and its caption is start initially and we add another button which is reset which I believe we want to run the reset handler handle reset click great we need to have we need to implement the handle reset click but first of all let's hand let's do the start part here what we need to do in is running part when we clear the this dot timer 
also we need to set a state is running to false this dot set a state is running false here we define a start time by subtracting current time from running time like this and we do not need the start time at company did mount so we remove it and click on start and we see it work and when you click again it doesn't work because we need to implement this case also so here <coughs> on the else part we need to set the is running true because <coughs> we need to inform react component that the state mode is is running now let's check again and click on start and again you see it works the last thing we need to do is to change start caption to a stop when we click on a start here it's really simple instead of start using this dot state dot is running if it's true we need to stop and if it's false we need to start timer great you see click on start and the label will be changed to stop and when you click on stop the label will be changed to start let's click on reset button you see it doesn't work because we need to implement the handle reset here handle reset click and what we need to do is the if part of handle start and button but the point is that we need to change the running time to zero so when you start and when you click on reset it will be changed to zero you see like this that's all about adding a start and a reset button to a stopwatch and it's almost like the rock this example which have been created already and I want that and I hope you like how to deal with handling event in react which is very important to create interactive and dynamic feature for your web application until next tutorials visit codingwebbasir.com and there are plenty of tutorials and lessons about javascript react and node.js there bye bye